Is there any sanctions that you have met you've met out to Patrick Alexis so far? Well, uh, I would say professional boxing. We have rules and regulations that governs professional boxing. So uh, since uh, when you falter, you just go the, we'll, go, we'll just go through the rules and regulation books and then whatever uh, the rules will say will be applied effectively to you. So, so what are some of the, the punishments he's likely to face? I mean, it varies, you know, and it depends on whatever happens. But since we haven't spoken with uh, Patrick Aloti to know the detail of the issue, uh, I can't say anything much about the sanctions that you have to give to Patrick Aloti. We have executive board. There are lawyers inside, well-experienced people, mature people who have been into boxing for ages. So when we meet and we, we, we delve into the issue before we can I mean, come out with whatever sanctions that he deserves to be uh, to be given. The issue happened on Sunday, and today is a Thursday. What's taking as a body so long for you to sit him down and talk to him, or to even hear his side of the story? Well, the issue happened on Sunday, and then we started even receiving the messages on Tuesday, the videos here and on Tuesday. And I think on Tuesday, I forwarded the video to the platform of GB, and I asked to. I asked for an advice from the executive board. On the following day, I spoke with my president early in the morning at his office, and he told us to, I mean, give a release letter to Simon Patrick Aloti to, I mean, uh, discuss the issue with him. But you know, uh, this is a voluntary work with the executive board, and everybody has its job doing. So you have to give them, I mean, time to have, to schedule their days to come in to have time for the meeting because our president is a renowned lawyer who always have cases at the law court so he needs to look through his diary then find it i mean date that is i mean uh, okay with him to for for, uh, for for that particular meeting but personally personally do you think his actions were right well i wasn't there i just saw a video footage and i don't know what happened i i can say that it's a full video footage that people started posting. Then, I mean, we are in the uh, 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 technology system. Someone can just, I mean, just video just a short of it and send it. Until we meet with Patrick Aloti, I can't say anything that what he did is right or wrong. We've seen the video footage, but we need to hear from the other side too for us to become good judges. So, um, you guys had an interview on radio, I think PSFM, and he apologized for whatever thing he, he, he did, meaning in him, to him, he was wrong. And as an association, how do you take such a message? Or would you just listen to the message and say, okay, it's fine, he has apologized, let's, let's let it go? Well, uh, in life, whatever you do, and you have a feeling that what you did is wrong, I mean, you have to apologize. And, 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 and he has done that. But to our side, we haven't met with him until we would meet Patrick Aloti and whatever he will tell us, we will go into the issue, we will use the rules and regulations that is governing us, then we apply whatever sanction we have to apply.